We are going to review right now the process called dehydration synthesis. In this particular case, we're going to put together two amino acids, methionine and aspartic acid. Amino acid number one, amino acid number two. When these two amino acids bond together, water is going to be released. So where is this water coming from? Basically, to form water, we need two hydrogens. There you have two hydrogens right here and one oxygen atom. So these two will react to form water and that's going to be released in the process. That's why we call this dehydration synthesis. Dehydration because we are losing water, synthesis because we are building something bigger. In this particular case, um, a protein. Um, there is another illustration here that shows exactly the same process. I think we can accommodate these three. So, the process of dehydration synthesis, let's review it. We have two hydrogens and one oxygen. They are going to react to form water, which is going to be lost in the process. And at the very end, what we will see is that on those joint sites, that part in which one acid, one amino acid is uh, bonded uh, to the next one, uh, you are going to miss those two hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atom. In this case, remember, above we had, before this reaction, two oxygens right here. We had a second oxygen here. And this nitrogen had one and, and two hydrogens. See, right over here, we can see that it has before two oxygens and three hydrogens. But after this reaction, because water was lost in the process, we will remain only with one oxygen and one hydrogen. There you have. And in here, we're going to call these uh, bonds peptide bonds. And the resulting chain of these amino acids together is going to be called a polypeptide. Now let's see if we can have a, a good view of the whole of the whole diagram here. So there you have dehydration synthesis to form proteins, also known as polypeptides. And that's it for today.